Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I believe that boxing is the place to be if you bet on sports. And no greater proof of that exists than ESPN's Dan Rayfield's column today, uh, July the 10th, 2013, that's currently on ESPN's website. Understand, in the United States, ESPN is a sports juggernaut, right? They are one of the premier, if not the premier, sports media outlets in the country. Now, Longtime subscribers know that I believe that the United Kingdom's Tyson Fury is one of the world's best heavyweights. Skill-wise, I place this guy among the very best in his division. I believe he is a credible threat to any of the belt holders. Certainly in terms of young fighters, in my opinion, he is right around the top of the list. Tyson Fury is scheduled to fight David Hay. I actually believe Tyson Fury wins that fight. Now, it might stun some people to know that Dan Rayfield, an esteemed columnist, in fact, the premier boxing columnist on ESPN, has listed his top 10 heavyweights. And it might surprise some people to learn that after the top three, Vladimir Klitschko, Vitaly Klitschko, and Alexander Povetkin, each of whom hold belts, Dan Rayfield has listed Bermain Stavern at number four, Tomas Ademic at number five. Then he lists David Hay at number six, Ruslan Chigayev at number seven, Tony Thompson at number eight, Kubrat Pulev at number nine, and Chris Ariola at number ten. On Dan Rayfield's list, Tyson Fury, unbeaten Tyson Fury, is not even listed. Right? And so this is why boxing is the best betting opportunity. It's because people who watch the sport regularly don't have a consensus on who's good and who's not. Right? We look at the fighters and it's hard to gauge who actually is talented and who isn't. Let me just say this. I wouldn't hesitate to take David Hay over Tomas Ademic. I wouldn't hesitate to take Tyson Fury over Tomas Ademic. But yet Tomas Ademic is rated higher than them on Dan Rayfield's list. Let me point out too, I thought Chris Ariola looked extremely limited against Bermain Stavern when they fought. I wouldn't put Chris Ariola over Tyson Fury on Fury's worst day. Also, Bermain Stavern, let's just say, his biggest opponent to date is Chris Ariola. How Bermain Stavern is ranked ahead of David Hay, a former heavyweight champion who, keep in mind, has only lost recently. We're not going to go back to Carl Thompson. He's only lost recently to Vladimir Klitschko. Right? How Bermain Stavern is rated ahead of David Hay and is rated ahead of Tyson Fury is an absolute mystery to me. Also, Tomas Ademic, let's just say Christmas came early for him against Steve Cunningham, right? That was a razor close fight, but yet Steve Cunningham is not on the list, right? And of course, how could Cunningham be? Because he was a knockout victim of Tyson Fury, right? Really, let's ask the argument. Do you believe 
that the guys on Rayfield's list are qualitatively better than Tyson Fury? I would say no. Quite frankly, I would not have been surprised if Fury was listed as the fourth best heavyweight just outside the top three. Right? So understand, as we here wrestle online with who's good and who's not, understand that all of our opinions matter. Because no matter who you are, whether you're a hack on YouTube like I am, or whether you're an esteemed journalist on ESPN like Dan Rayfield is, understand there are going to be huge differences of opinion. Right now, if you read the comment section to the Floyd Mayweather, Saul Alvarez videos I've made, you're going to see that there's a sizable group out there, and I do mean sizable, that firmly believe that Saul Alvarez beats Floyd Mayweather, right? I made a video recently, within the last few hours, talking about James DeGale. There was a sizable group of you who believe that James DeGale lacks talent and would get knocked out by Carl Frotch, a fight I believe DeGale wins with room to spare. So these differences of opinions are going to reflect themselves in the betting line. And there are going to be fights where the better fighter is the underdog, right? Unbeaten fighters are underdogs. Where guys like Bermain Stavern, by the way, Stavern's not even unbeaten, are favored over unbeaten fighters like Tyson Fury, right? And so take all of these ratings, my ratings, Dan Rayfield's ratings, with a grain of salt. Styles make fights. What you need to do is to figure out the styles of the fighters. Gauge how they handle adversity. Ask yourself what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are. And you need to go with that. Don't think for a second that there's a consensus among those who watch boxing all the time on who's good and who's not. There isn't. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Let me also point out too that Tyson Fury, in my opinion, is an uncrowned champion. Right? I believe this guy, and think about how he's trying to do it now. He's going to fight David Hay. Then he wants to fight guys with belts. The Klitschko brothers. Alexander Povetkin. Right? Fury's not trying to luck his way into the heavyweight championship. Now, this is a guy who is taking on people like Derek Chisora, Steve Cunningham, now David Hay. Right? And even with that drive, he's not even listed in the top 10 on some lists. Astounding. Let me hear from you. Kevin Johnson, another guy he beat. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Let it rip. Thanks for stopping by.